guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to do if I had to declutter one palette from each brand. <laughs> what that means is basically I did a video in the past about a couple of months ago called if I could only keep one eyeshadow palette from each brand. I selected one eyeshadow palette that I would keep from the brands that I have the most of. So it's really important that I selected brands that I have the most of so it actually was a bit of a challenge. For this video, I basically kept the same brands that I had and then I also added one or two extra brands just because and here we are today. It was really fun last time. This video I got the idea from Julia Mazzucato. If you aren't subscribed to her channel already, make sure you go and do it. She is so funny. She has such a dry sense of humor but she's hilarious and most importantly her video ideas are so unique. Everything she comes out with without fail, it is unique. Nobody's done it before and she's just very entertaining to watch and when I saw this I thought it fit in perfectly with the if I could only keep one eyeshadow palette that you guys seem to love. I must admit though this was a lot easier than the if I could only keep one because <laughs> I'm a collector and I'm not proud of this but I keep palettes that I don't necessarily like because I like to refer back to you guys. I like having the whole collection, all of that. So this was actually a lot easier. But uh, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with, and this is in no particular order, I'm just grabbing from my desk. We'll start off with ColourPop and this one was a no-brainer. I don't even think I've used this palette once. If it left my collection, I really wouldn't notice. I have a lot of ColourPop shadows. They're just so cheap. So I buy so many and I don't even know what this is called. Honestly, it's a glitter palette that I purchased pre-made. These are a number of their pressed glitter shadows. They pre-curated, put it in one of their palettes and sold it as a pressed glitter palette. I don't know why I even bought this. I like went through a phase where I thought I liked pressed glitters, but did I actually ever use them? No. Haven't used this once though. If you like pressed glitters, I mean, she kind of cute. I have to admit, like she's really, really cute, but I I haven't even used it once, so if I had to declutter this, I wouldn't think twice about it. It doesn't take up that much space, so I keep it. Let's do a Vizzy Art next. This one I actually did have to think a little bit about because I do have a large number and I am very fond of my Vizzy Art palettes, even if I don't use them as much. I just really like them. So ultimately I decided to declutter if I had to. I'm not actually doing this but if I had to it would be the downtown eyeshadow palette and this hurt me because it's like $80 and I bought it for full price but at the end of the day these aren't new colors. These are colors that already exist within the Viseart line. It's just a palette that Alcone curated with Viseart using their existing shadows and I love the layout of this but I have so many Viseart palettes that these colors are within the other palettes that I own. I probably wasted $80 purchasing this but honestly like I really like it. I think it's a really pretty layout but if I was being realistic and I had to declutter one of them it would have to be this one because I already own the majority of the colors I bet. I mean I'm not 100% sure on that but I have a lot of Viseart so I don't need that one. Next brand that we have is Too Faced and I've done a pretty good job of cluttering my Too Faced palettes in general but I guess kind of the next in line is the Too Faced best year ever. This is from the 2018 holiday collection and I'm not a big fan of their holiday collections honestly but something about this palette I thought was actually pretty good quality and that's why it has stood the test of time in my collection. It's lasted because normally I'll get rid of these pretty quickly. I have no attachment to them and so this one it's time to go. I mean you guys don't really have it. It was limited edition. You can't pick it up. It wasn't even really a hyped up product. I don't even remember why I bought this honestly, but it's not a bad palette. It is really cute and the quality is good, especially for the price that you paid. It has no lasting value in my collection because there's no reason that I really would put it in a video besides the video today. All right, so let's move on to ABH. ABH wasn't the easiest. I just have an attachment to those two. I don't know why, but it would have to be Prism if I had to declutter it because, first of all, it's limited edition. Again, you guys can't pick it up and that's the reason why I keep a lot of my palettes is for you guys to feature products, talk about products, compare products, and this one's kind of dead and gone. There's really no reason to bring it up anymore. And not only that, this color story doesn't really inspire me. I don't find this to be very visually pleasing. You can get pretty looks. I'm not saying that. You definitely can. I, I never 
reach for it, nor do I have a reason to. So of all of them, this one would have to go. The next brand that we'll do is Tom Ford. And this one should not be a surprise to you because I've talked a lot of smack about this on my channel recently. So if you watch my Tom Ford videos, you already know what I'm about to say, but this Tom Ford badass quad, honestly, I've kind of already decluttered it. I passed it off to my mom because I don't even know why. Sorry, mom. I just kind of gave her a burden because this pal is not good, you guys. The texture of the shadows, they're sticky. This is a lot of money and it's just not worth the quality. I don't even know how this didn't end up getting returned, honestly. I think it just took me a while to actually use it. And I was sure I would love it because I love Tom Ford quads, so I never used it. And then when I did, I was like, well, it's too late to return now. The colors don't look like, especially this one on the lid, how they do in the pan. Some of them don't show up. It's just not even a pretty color story. So this one for me is a big bust and I kind of already decluttered it. So I would definitely declutter this one. Um, anyways, we'll go on to an affordable brand, which is Morphe. And again, shouldn't be much of a surprise to you, but I would declutter the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette that I purchased a while back. This is just the worst quality palette that I've personally ever purchased from Morphe. This is one of the palettes that I almost feature in videos because it gets people worked up. <laughs> because people try and stand up for this palette and I'm like, no, it's not good, sorry. It's just not. Just because you're a fan of Jeffrey doesn't make this palette good. It's not. Anyways, that probably triggered some people. I don't like this palette. Talking about the palette, not good. Uh, this palette's from a while ago. The reason I haven't decluttered it yet is so that I can bring it up in situations as such. All right, let's move on to Huda Beauty. This one is really, really bad. I keep it because I have the whole collection of these. These are from the Neon collection that came out last year. And this is by far the worst one in this collection, though this entire collection was quite not good. <laughs> um, and I think this, what is this, the pastel greens? I don't even know. But this is just the biggest waste of money. All the shadows look the same on your lid. And then the shadows that do show up, they all kind of look the same. There's just really no point to this palette. All of these shimmers here, they're just like a clear glittery formula where there's no base at all. So it just is an eye topper, but they all look the same. Like all of them. You have two neon yellows. They both look the same. And then you have this pink, which is fine, but it's kind of random. And also if you have the collection of the other two, those two kind of have the same colors that this one has. So if you have those two, then you have all the crappy colors that are in here. Anyways, this is just not good. I would declutter that one. Um, Pat McGrath. I haven't come across a Pat McGrath palette that I haven't liked, but this one was pretty easy for me. At first, I got really worried because I was like, oh, what wonder would I declutter? And then I remembered I had this one and I was like, oh, duh. So this came out in a little eye kit and I, I think it was called the Eye Ecstasy Kit. If it's still available, I will link it because it truly is a really good value. And this is not a bad palette at all. It's just, have you seen her other palettes? They're so much prettier. This one is such cheap packaging. You don't get the luxury experience with it, which is fine. If you want to try the palette formula, this is a good way to do it. It is much more affordable. And the colors in here are pretty too. There's nothing unique about this palette, nothing special about the palette. It is pretty and it's a really nice formula, but you don't even have any Blitz Astro shades in here and you're getting good quality when you purchase this. But I mean, I just feel like when you have the collection that I have, you don't need that. Moving on to Charlotte Tilbury. I already knew right away what palette I was decluttering. And this is a quad and this is the Luxury Palette of Pops in Super Sonic Girl. I really do not like her palette of pops. I don't mind if one of her quads has a pop formula in there. That's fine. I can deal with it. It does add a nice glitter to the lid, but I don't like the formula enough to have four of them here. I just feel like when I tried to use this palette, it was Fallout Central. Now this quad isn't meant to be used to create a whole look. However, I just hate this formula. It's so crumbly. It falls all over your face and it's just not worth the money for this. I, I don't like this formula. Um, and I also feel like the colors in here, they all kind of look the same on the eye too. That's why it's okay to have one in a palette, but having the entire palette of this formula, 
No, and she has such a good matte formula too, especially nowadays. I feel like she reformulated her mattes and they are so buttery, creamy smooth. She has to reformulate this pop formula because it's not good. Okay, and then Natasha Denona. I was toggling between a couple cranberry palette. I really don't like that palette, but I ultimately decided on the mini sunset palette because at least with the cranberry palette, even though the quality is not that great, the looks that you get are pretty because it's really pretty colors. This palette is so nondescript. The quality of it's not very good. I noticed the mattes were patchy, the shimmers were lackluster and a little bit chunky on the eyelid. I just wasn't in love with this one and it's not horrible, but it's not a representation of the Natasha Denona formula. And not only that, the colors in here are kind of bleh. Like I can replicate these within Natasha Denona's line herself. In drugstore palettes, all of that, like these aren't unique colors and the quality isn't a representation of the formula that Natasha Denona has. So there would be no purpose for this palette if I had to declutter it. So then I would I would declutter it. All right guys, so that is all I have for if I had to declutter one palette from each brand. Honestly, I feel like if I really wanted to challenge myself, I would do a part two of this, of doing brands that I actually have less of because that might actually make it more of a challenge. This was easy because I had a lot. It made it really hard for choosing to keep one. But if I switch it to brands that I don't have a lot of, that would make it really cutthroat for decluttering. So let me know if you would like to see a part two of brands that might actually challenge me more since I have less. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribe to my channel already. I hope you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.